Thank you guys. Thank you for the timing board just to see exactly what's happening there. But number four has a few problems. George Spence getting himself there ready. Just having a couple of adjustments. And the number eight machine. Well, it says number eight, but I'm pretty sure that's not number eight because uh, Dave Moffat's already gone. Ah, number one, that'll be then. Uh, that is uh, Michael Rutter on the other motor of his machine. So it does look like number eight, but it is number one. Hey, here's Michael Rutter. You can tell because it says Rutter on his Antonio Meso, Imperial College of London. Antonio comes to the front. There with number five. That'll be Ian Locker on that machine. And doesn't that look well? That looks an absolute belter. Okay, go. George Spence away. And he's very rocket stabbed this way. He doesn't love it. Antonio Meso is also going to go the way. And he's Ian Locker on the number five machine. Ian's ridden everything virtually around here now, isn't he? Everything. One, two, five, two, six, three, four, four minutes. 25.639, 105.65 miles per hour for John McGuinness. Wow, absolutely incredible, Mark. If you just want to grab the lap, the, uh, what's it called again, the clipboardy thing, uh, we'll move this way and then we'll get the next rider through uh, very, very shortly. But 21. 5.639, 105.69 miles an hour. Another machine to see. That's it for me. At 22 minutes 07, 373, 102.33 miles an hour. 102.33 miles an hour. So we're straight into the 100 odd mile per hour laps. I'm not too sure whether we're going to get going here, but we'll uh, get that information uh, to you and, and have a little chat with John when he comes in. And I, I don't think they're not uh, going to stop him there. So 105.65 for John. And on the number three machine, a Mark Miller, 102.33 miles an hour for Mark Miller on the notices. And the movement are both safe and back, which is good news. Right, has he come up with a two? We're just waiting to see. Yeah, the guy's just there. We tell him. The guy's not sure where he's going to turn up now. And here he comes. He's going to keep people down there. And he's going to score for us when he comes in. And he's going to stop right beside us at any second now. And Mark Miller is up the return lane as well. Yeah, Mark Miller is there. Now John has not managed to make his way back. Mark, if you could just grab that there off me like that and just hold it there, that would be perfect. And Mark's off the machine. Let's uh, get to see now uh, what thoughts he had on that. He's shaking his head a little bit, maybe. He takes the left club off now. The guy's just checking the tyres, see what the heat is like in those uh, Pirelli tyres that he's running on there. And just in conversation with the guys. Uh, just a little bit of a debrief there. I'm not sure if you can see up the top there, uh, down the return road. Can you guys can you see down there? No, no, you can't see nothing there. Uh, the moment, uh, Mark, uh, found a conversation with his uh, American colleagues. Just about to take his lid off. Just takes his strap off. They're under the D string there now. Under the D buckle, should I say. He takes a little buckle off. And just to like the rear end. And a little bit flapping around. So maybe they can make some adjustments to it. And then get themselves back out on track. Let's go in and jump inside, bud, and just have a word with Mark and uh, see how he is. Uh, jo John McGuinness is actually pushing the machine up the return road. You could have stopped and given John a, John a yeah. push, Mark, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think him and the motorcycle combined is, you know, more than a car, so. 102 uh, is a bit happy first off. Yeah, there's some suspension things I'd like to address, but uh, all in all, I know it's faster than I went in the race last year, so that's actually surprising. I thought it was going to be quite slow, because it felt quite slow, which is a good thing, but. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I mean, it's fun to ride. I'm just, uh, I got this Aprilia buzzing in my head, too, that I got to work out. So, at the moment, I'm a little bit uh, uh, without words. All right, okay, Mark, thank you. No, geez, buddy, thank you. Don't like Mark to be stuck without words, isn't it? So, John McGuinness is uh, pushing the machine. Mark Miller, another machine. Yes, yes! Up on the tower there, yeah. Robert Barber yes. on the RW2 machine, 25, 41, 0.681, 88, no, bad. 0. Oh, 0. Yeah. Chris Barber there, but Not quickest, uh, Milky's running with the bike, my nervous. word. Yeah. Poor John, he'd be absolutely all in after that, that's all he needs, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Obviously, right, so Rob Barber, 88.10, Michael Rutter, 104.63, Chris McGon, 77.51, Mark Miller, 102.33, but the quickest is John McGuinness, 105.65 miles an hour. Here is Chris McGon in, he's ridden all sorts of machines around here, and now he's done the lot. with the electric bike that he's in, looks like an R6 uh, chassis, and running gear on that, and here is Michael Rutter in. And they're quite happy, Mark Miller and his team are just complaining of suspension issues, and Richard has the bike. Oh, Milky, get a lit. Is this a return for Milky Quail, do you think? Or? <laughs> no, no, he says, not at all. He's Rob Barber in. He's ready for John to come up the, the little road here now as well. 
There is Rob Barber in. See if he's quite happy with that. And uh, where's my team? He says, how was that, Robert? It was all right. We've got a few problems. Had to do a few resets. Yeah, but um, all in all, it looks pretty fast when it gets going. But we've just got these few problems. I lost the onboard camera as well. That time stuff somewhere. Oops. Yeah, so is any, anybody around? You know, where's uh, just after you go through the tree? Yeah, okay. Do you think Paul Cottage around there? Around there, yeah, there's uh, GoPro. GoPro is the head. The, the college students done a real good job. It's a real fast bike and uh, all quite good. Is that them up on the grandstand up there that we'll do? There's a lot of guys cheering up there when you went across the line. I think they must have made a way down here. What, what was your close lap speed again? What is it? Uh, 88.1. Oh, that's pretty good. I want a quick is 89. So I had to do five resets. I'd have to wait three seconds to switch the last switch. That's 15 seconds. Well, I said I worked it out. The head five times.